this poor horse has caught her leg while out this morning on the front section of this cattle grid. She's lost her balance. Her weight has moved forward, lifted the back of the cattle grid on top of the front of the cattle grid. Her leg has now gone through both and is completely snapped with a compound fracture. We can't get her out. Obviously Allendale Estates have put this in, there's a huge gap there. We can't get her out at the moment. The vet has put this poor horse down. Now we've asked time and time again for Allendale Estates to put a gate along here. We don't even need a cattle grid, we just need a gate. Um, and all they did, they put a stile. And what the uh, Allendale Estates have done, and their gamekeepers, is to circumnavigate that, we used to come through this gate, here, by Mrs Day's land. This gate now has a padlock, right there. So we can't use this gate. This barbed wire here was actually this high. It was at the top of these posts here. Posts is over there. I think one of the posts has been removed. But it was on the top of that post, which is really dangerous for the horses and, you know, ourselves. Because you could walk through there and catch yourself. It's a deliberate attempt by Allendale Estates and Mark Little specifically to prevent anybody with horses from using this green lane. This green lane has been used for hundreds of years with, by, by horses. We, we have a photograph from the early 1900s of the postman delivering mail along this very track. Hope Head, another half a mile from down there. They've got horses. They can't get away run off their land. This is absolutely scandalous and absolutely ridiculous. This poor horse now has lost her life because Allendale Estates can't the locals. Absolutely disgraceful. And here we have this terrible, terrible fracture on her lower leg. Um, she's going to have to have her leg, I think, amputated, the lower leg amputated, just to be able to get her off this cattle grid. Absolutely disgraceful.